In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create moderating effect graph or interaction effect plot. So here in my model, I have three variables. One is OC, mean culture. Second is TP, that is team performance. And last one is HRP, that is HR practice. I'm going to treat OC as moderator on relationship between HRP and TP. So let me first examine reliability and validity measures. So go to menu bar, calculate PLS algorithms and uh, so here we go. So you see here, so these are the loadings. Loadings are fine. All values exceed the minimum level of 0.78. Now let's examine the report. So here, first click uh, construct liability and validity. So you see here, the compass liability values are fine and AVE values are also fine. Now coming to discriminant validity, so as far as the foreign law criteria is concerned, you see discriminant validity is fully established here. As values on the diagonal side, they exceed all values falling in the corresponding rows and columns. Coming to HTMT, you see it's also fine and all values are below 0.85. Now, before we create the graph, let's first uh, create uh, here moderating variable here or interaction term here. So just right click on your dependent variable and you see here we have an option that is add moderating effect here. And uh, now select your moderating variable that is OC and uh, HRPS independent variable and I'm going to choose calculation method as product indicator. Standardized is fine and automatic is fine. Just click OK. Now you see a new variable has been created here. Now let's see what is the effect of this variable on this one. So go back to the menu bar, calculate algorithms and run it again. So here is the, the beta coefficient of the interaction effect. So that is minus 0.221. So in other words, interaction effect of uh, these two variables on the dependent variable that is minus and is 0.221. It's quite perceptible size. Now before we create the moderating effect graph, let's first examine whether this relationship is statistically significant or not. If it's not statistically significant, then there is no point of generating any moderating effect graph. So how to test it? So go to the menu bar, calculate and go to stepping. And uh, I'm going to use the 100 subsamples, but you must use minimum 1000 samples. I'm going to use 100 because it will take less time. So you see, even 100 sample is taking too long times. So here we go. So this is the T statistics. So the T value is 5.260, much higher than 1.96. So that means the this interaction effect is statistically significant. Now we can generate moderating effect graph. So that would be meaningful. So go to menu bar, calculate and consistent PLS algorithm again and then so go to report and scroll it down and you see here at the end you have one option that is simple slope analysis. So just click it. So here we go. So this is the moderating effect graph for interaction effect plot. On its uh, uh, y-axis, we have a dependent variable that is TP, that is team performance. And on its x-axis, it is HRP, that is independent variable. And these three lines, these show uh, three different levels of mo the moderating variable. So that is culture. 
So you see this is the uh, red line. So red line you see OC at minus 1 SD and blue line shows OC at uh, mean and green line shows that OC at plus 1 SD. So in uh, crude sense we can say so this is the lower level of culture when the culture is uh, weak. So this is a strong culture and this is a medium or level, moderate level culture. So this graph clearly shows that slope coefficient would be very high when culture is weak. You see here in this one. And whereas when culture is strong, the slope coefficient would be very small. So it clearly shows that that when the culture is weak, moderate, the effect of HRP and on TP is strong. And when culture is strong, then the effect of HRP on TP is weak. So this is how we generate uh, moderating effect uh, plot or graph and interpret it. Thanks for watching.